Okay. The Nintendo GameCube was a Nintendo console released in 2001. Nintendo released a whole bunch of peripherals for this, including the DK Bongos. The following video is a vlog of how I made the portable DK Bongos. Enjoy. What's up chat? Remember these? The DK Bongos. I've had this, well, these are mine from my childhood, I would say. And today we're gonna do something really, hopefully, fun with this. 37.99. I mean, that's a price, right? DK Bongos. For use with Donkey Konga, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Game sold separately. Game sold separately? Game sold separately? What are you talking about? With the uh, documentation there. Let's have a look at this. I have played Pikmin 2. Let's get these out of the bag. The DK Bongos. I believe I should say what I'm actually going to try and do with these today. I'm hoping, if this is successful, that I will have a portable version of these DK bongos that I can take anywhere and play with at any time. Like a real set of bongos. Using digital sounds, so I'll be able to use custom instruments for each bongo. I'm not sure exactly where the buttons are, but that feels very responsive all the way around. So it's going to have, I'm hoping, a box that clips or sits on there with the Arduino and a speaker, an SD card, and that when you hit the buttons, it'll produce sound out of the back or the front, the DK bongos. Now to do this, I don't know if you're aware of James Lambert, who developed Portal 64, and he's done a few other um, console things, but he developed a USB port for the Nintendo 64, which has laid in the back of my mind since he produced it 10 months ago. And this is along a similar vibe in that I'm going to be interpreting what comes from this by an Arduino and then using that to produce sounds etc. Um, first job, I bought one of these so I didn't have to damage my precious collectible vintage toy. And this is a GameCube extension lead. There we go. Sorted. Look what I have. Actual real wire strippers. Very nice. There we go. That, that was easy, wasn't it? I could just do this all day. So yeah, I am investing in myself. If you do like this content, Please join the supporters on Coffee. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you for being here and helping me to produce better content and hopefully make some things that you'll enjoy using. Now to put this to one side. So I am going to have to reuse the Arduino from the base bomb. If you haven't seen the video where I made the base bomb, link is up there. The star of the show once again, the Arduino Leonardo. Woohoo! The workhorse of every project I've done so far. I'm actually missing one component for this at the moment, which is an audio amplification module, which I'm waiting to arrive. I will also need to use one of these, which is a micro SD card reader. I'm not too worried about the amplification module because as long as I can get a sound coming out, all I have to do then is route it through the amplification module. So if I get this working, then I can just put that on later. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is creating a battery pack for this. Let's take that one apart. You know it, you love it, say it with me. Electrical tape. I'll do. That's fancy. Nice, isn't it? Now, I've never used flux before, but I've seen people use it. Get some solder and put it on you. That is a lot easier with flux, I will tell you now. See if this charges. Charging. Isn't that nice? Right, so this is charged. Now oh, let's see if what I've been told about this is true. Yes, the Arduino is on. Job number two. What's job number two? Uh, job number two is programming. It should be easy enough. Famous last words. Arduino. File new sketch. The one I like the look of was N64 pad. So I'm going to try using that. File examples, examples. N64 pad. Need that. Big shout out to G because in Device Manager, my Arduino was reported as a known USB device. So the code I uploaded, uh, back to the research board. Let's read this then. See, I didn't want to, I didn't want to use this 
I don't have one of these. I don't have a logic level. What are those? Red. Red. Aha, I see where I went wrong. File, sketchbook, no examples, yes. N64 pad, GC pad dump, please. Go away. Verify, compile. Sketch. Upload. Uh, green is 3.3 .3 volts. Not putting that one in yet. Black and blue are ground. Red is data, red is data, red is data, and they say pin 2. <sighs> Let's try the original sketch and say that you're in pin 3. Hey, there we go. Press ZX start down L. Why it's thinking X is pressed, I don't know. I hope I won't need that 10 kilo ohm resistor. I'm gonna see if I can scrap a resistor off this, which is a NES board, which I keep stealing bits out of. I'm learning. We're doing surgery. They are the ones I want. Thank you, NES. I wonder if hot pliers exist. Way. And this has to go between the green wire. You would not believe how janky this is. Ifs, 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 ifs. I've got the SD card working with audio. As soon as it's powered on. And I can also trigger that by sending P through serial. That's good. So the SD card works and I can play audio from it. That's good. The bongos are done. Um, obviously that's quiet. So good thing I have, uh, hopefully, an audio amplifier module. Learned my lesson from the portable talk box. Not having an amplification module on your audio means you can't hear it. Oh, ain't she beautiful? So yeah, I will sacrifice this speaker, which is a good speaker. It's from an old set. I struggle to throw speakers away because like I said in my previous videos, I used to just have like a wall of speakers. Beautiful. Lovely. Let's put it back on and see what we get. Sick. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. What's up chat? Remember these? The Donkey Konga Bongos. Lovely. Mine from childhood. Yes indeed. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? We've been here before. Remember these? From a few seconds ago. So very close. So very, very close. But there were a few problems. And I think the problems stem from the fact that I was refusing to use a logic level converter on the bongos instead relying on a code from someone else that didn't need one so the bongos were reporting weird button presses so i had to create like sort of matrices matrices to interpret the controls because it was picking up like five four or five at the same time uh but then also the sd card chip i was using doesn't have mp3 decoding so i was using a pcm library so the only thing that was decent was the amplification module which i will put to one side now so it doesn't get in my way i was trying not to spend any more money i have one of these which is an air expert for micro electronic which i'm hoping is an sd card with mp3 decoding built into it on a chip and i only wanted one of these but they were 10 for five pounds with ribbon cables right next thing i'm going to do hope i have enough solder left Yes, everything has to come unwired because we're at the beginning. This is why I missed Saturday's upload, even though it's still Thursday. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that solder, and I'll be honest, flux really does help. Let's not waste that tiny bit of flux. Save the scrapes and the scrapes will save you. Oh yes, I'm going to have to rip more resistors off the NES. I forgot, I need two 1Ks. Down here there's two 1Ks, so I'm going to have both of those. High voltage to five. Ground to ground. Red is data. Not pretty, but it looks adequate, right? I wonder if this will work as easily as I expect the last one to work. Uh, sketch. Upload that. What happens if I just delete that? Right, okay. So that's good. I can use that. Oh my god, they're actually reporting as the right buttons. Ah, 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 ah. Lovely. 
My phone died already? Goodness me. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep coding again and charge my phone up. Ah, it's been a busy three days. Programming took a while, as did that. As you can see by these failed prototypes on my desk, the programming's done, it works. It's all bundled in a neat little package. Working off battery power, confirmed, works. I had a problem with the DF player module that uses MP3s. The processing on it is a little bit too slow. So I went back and used TFRMCP, which allows me to play WAV files uncompressed and they play instantly. I say I'm close to finishing. I hope I'm close to finishing. I can't make any promises to myself because I've thought that I've been close to finishing for a while now. The only major slowdown to the project was 3D printing. It's still quicker than sending it off to get made, which is one of the reasons I had the 3D printer in the first place. This is the current final design. It's clamped together right now just for security. I have drilled holes and put little nuts in so I can screw it tight. But if we take the clamps off and we get our beloved bongos and we put this over the top, it fits nicely. Finally got the camera bag on, so hello again. Speaker, which I've measured perfectly and fits perfectly, and that took me a few iterations to get. It is currently 2 a.m. There we go. And there's the speaker in the DK grill, the custom DK grill. I designed and printed based off the official artwork. Next task is creating a power switch for the battery. Put a knot in it for stress relief. The man, programming took so long. Lovely. That one's fine, that one's fine. That one can go over there. You can go over there. Because you're going over there. Battery can go over here. Couple of red flags. Power switch gets hot glued in first. 3D printer's best friend, right? Right. So SD card reader, please. Looks good. We got all our eggs in a basket. Yep, all our eggs are indeed in a basket. Hopefully I can sort these wires out so they're not in the way. Do I need the hot glue gun anymore? I'm not sure. It's pie time. Oh. I'm done. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Nice. I see your action, is it? So, these are the DK bongos. This fits over the top, like so. Sits firmly in position. Your controller cable goes in there, like so. Power switch, and then we play. Ah, ah, nice. <laughs> And if you press the start button, press the start button there, you get the amen break. You can change the instruments with the SD card if you so choose, USB-C charging, and also... Works with the GameCube controller as well, because of course it does. Fully portable. Anywhere you go. DK bongos. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Good thumbnail or what? With that, I'm going to bed.
Thank you for watching.